this out right there. It is fluorescent. That's it. That is a ruby. First ruby found a couple sapphires, but that's the first ruby of the day. Look at that. I better not hold it over that flume if I drop it. <laughs> oh, man, this is so much fun. Today, we're in North Carolina, and we're going to be mining for some rubies and sapphires here at the Cherokee Mine. This is not salted, which means they don't add anything to their buckets. When you get these buckets, it all comes out of the mine, which is about 300 yards behind us here. And you purchase these buckets, and then you take them out, and you go through them. Let's go check it out. This is going to be awesome. Look at these butterflies, you guys. Wow. So this location has something very special about it that I really enjoy. These buckets here are unsalted. That's right. They're not like these salted buckets that have all the stuff that people have put in them that you know is already going to be there. These are unsalted that come straight out of the mine. So let's get to it. So here you get the screens. They provide those for you. They provide these jars to put your finds in. And they provide these awesome mats to sit on. Let's get to it. So what you want to do is put about 25% of this bucket into this screen. You could put a little more or less. And it's pretty easy. You just stick it in the water here. Shake it around a bit. Use your hands. Clean it up. So after you've shaken them out a little bit, wrung the dirt off, you can go through here. I like to throw these bigger pieces out first so you can see the smaller ones a little bit easier. And several things you want to do. You want to look for color, shape, maybe a little bit of luster from some of the moonstone. Sometimes you got to re-soak it, rinse them off a little bit more there. Check her out. You might want to give these big rocks a look before you go throwing them too crazy. Because you never know. This one's got garnets all in it. We're going to keep that just because uh, it'll clean up nice. Garnets all in there. Look at that. Must be a hundred garnets in this little matrix. Ooh, there's another one of those garnet pieces there. Got several garnets in Matrix. Might polish out and be kind of cool. Tiny piece of kyanite there. Look at that. Tiny blue kyanite piece. And some sillimanite. Little sillimanite right there. So you're going to find a little something, a little tiny garnet, in each of these uh, buckets here. But it's not going to be like the salted buckets, which really, you know, if you want to take a chance on finding something really, really nice, this is the way to do it. Let's see what we 
got here. Ooh. Oh, there's, that's a sapphire. So this sapphire may be small, but it sure is awesome. Look at that sheen, that glimmer there and when it hits the light. And this thing is see-through. doesn't really have much blue. Pretty cool, though. So Josh just now found the sapphire. It's got a little blue tint to it. Nice job there. Um, you can see how it reacts with the UV light. What a great find. All right, there is a sapphire right there. Do you see it? Do you see it? Right there, it's really small. But you can see the striations of the shape. So you've got a little small sapphire or a what's also called corundum. Sometimes you get some very jimmy garnets and uh, you'll think they're ruby at first. Check it out. See it right there? It's super jimmy. Uh-oh. Did I lose it? There it is. And there it is. Super jimmy garnet. Just right out of the pan there. Check this out. Right there. That's got to be it. Let's see if it'll show off any. Yeah. A little bit there. You can see the little red tinge from the side. Look at that. Did I even have... There. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. It is fluorescent. That's it. That is a ruby. First ruby. Found a couple sapphires, but that's the first ruby of the day. Look at that. I better not hold it over that flume if I drop it. <laughs> so Matt and Lisa here are the owners, the staff. They do it all. They are awesome at helping you out. If you've never been gem mining before, this is a great place. And they're really come. good at helping out. They will even help you look through your screen if you're not sure. They can help you uh, identify these minerals and gems and sapphires and rubies. We'll double check your material and make sure you didn't miss anything. Yeah. So you can see just after a couple of hours of digging through a few buckets here, found a couple of rubies, three sapphires, and all kinds of other neat stuff. Look at the color of these rhyolites. This really surprised me. Super jimmy. Purple, pinkish colors. They're almost like a hot pink. Very vibrant. These are really nice. Rhyolite garnets. And you also had some other type garnets. You had kyanite, you had silimonite, you had rutile, all kinds of things. Look at this sapphire here, though. You can see the way it, the sheen. See that? If you were to polish this down, you'd probably get a star right from that. Pretty cool. More of a silver light blue colored sapphire and then you get the two rubies here they had the same effect these have a touch of a lightish blue but it, they also have a little bit of a red in there legit rubies nice stuff and here's that bi tight garnet slightly polished kyanite and these garnets these are the almondine or the pyrope maybe pyrope garnets probably the Rutile. Thanks so much. Check out the Instagram page. Check out the videos. See you next time. To help and support this channel, please like and share, and we sure do love your comments. Thanks for watching.